Hi there, this is Valentine, and in this tutorial, I wanted to show you how you can dynamically change query parameters. So let me quickly explain what I mean by that. You see, in this first case, I'm using the same endpoint, the get endpoint, and I'm sending name and age as query parameters. But then it happens that in a second request, I want to send something like different name, and instead of age, I want to send email. So then the query parameters change. So if you need this possibility of modifying the query parameters, I want you to show you an approach that can help you do that. So the idea is the following. If you need to dynamically change the query parameters that you are sending, the best way to do that is to first remove them completely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove everything, including the question mark. And I'm going to go in the pre-request script. So here in the pre-request script, let's set a variable called query params and I'm going to simply put everything in this variable. Now what I want to do additionally is to set a global variable or any other postman variable that you may wish to set. I'm going to call it query params and I'm going to set it to the value of query params. So now in the query parameters I can use the postman variable query params. Let's send this out. And you will see that the parameters are still being sent out. So now we can dynamically change the query parameters. Now, for if whatever reason I want to do something like this, if a particular condition is true, I can still go at the query parameters and do something like appending additional information to it and say also age equals 30. So if I'm sending this this way, you will see now that we have dynamic query parameters. We have name, we have email, and now we have age as well. So this is one way to do it. Additionally, you can also work with objects. So what I mean by objects, let's say that we now create an object called person. And let's say that the person has a few properties such as name, this will be John, and email, and this will be John at example.com. So with this object, we can again dynamically change some information regarding this object. We can get this information from an external file when we do iterations or stuff like that. So it really opens up a lot of possibilities. So the idea is to transform this object in query parameters. Now I'm going to let here an empty object. So query params will be empty. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the following information. So I'm going to populate the query parameters first with the question mark because we need a question mark. And after that, I'm going to use object keys. Now this is a JavaScript method that gives us all the keys so we can iterate over the keys. And the parameter that we're getting is person. So we are getting all the keys, all the property so name email are all the keys from this object so what i'm going to do is i'm going to map so i'm going to iterate over each property and i'm going to do the following so i'm going to use the key and let's generate our string so these are backticks and this is important because of the syntax so we can do something like this i'm going to set the key and this will be equal and then we can get from person the property for the current key and then we can join additional properties if we have multiple elements with an end sign so we start with this object we iterate over each and every property and and this is not object key this is object keys sorry for the mistake and now again we have here arguments this also means that we can dynamically now add information to the person. So we can add the age if we need to. And what this method will do will then add the age as well. But just as well, we can have here an empty object. So there's absolutely no limit. So the main idea again, replace all the query parameters with a variable, with a Postman variable, and set that variable somehow. I've decided to use the pre-request script in order to compute this, but any other option would work just as well. 
Make sure you check the video description because I will put there some very important resources, especially if you're not so fit in terms of JavaScript, that can help you understand what is going on here, as well as the code example, other resources that may be interested for you if you're learning Postman. Thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something valuable. Subscribe to this channel for more Postman tutorials like this one. And hopefully see you next time at another tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.